Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I posted over on my Instagram at the beginning of the week the video that was gonna go live on Thursday and it may seem kind of random, but let me tell you the story. So on our first floor is where Darla, our almost six year old Basset Hound, if you don't know who that is, lives for the most part. She doesn't go upstairs unless she gets up there when she's not supposed to. And so I feel like our main level, especially our living room, which is where we're standing right now, is gross, the carpet specifically. Last week, I tried to put down some of that carpet powder. It was pet specific, so it was supposed to help pet odors specifically. And I just felt like it did an okay job for about a day. And then after that, it was the exact same issue. So I'm talking about the smell. My carpet gets matted really easily in the living room. And also because I have a dog who's a little bit off her rocker, she has a lot of gastrointestinal issues. I'll just leave it at that. And thinking about that on my carpet is disgusting. The living room is a huge place for my entire family to be when people come over or just when Calla and I are spending our entire day at the house, we spend a lot of time in this area. So I knew that I was gonna have to figure out something else to do. I did have our carpets professionally cleaned at the beginning of the summer. I think it was actually the spring season, which was so nice, but here we are into the next season, almost at the end of summer, and I just feel like it's so gross again because it's such a high traffic area. Also, carpet cleaning can be expensive if you're doing it all the time. And I do have an at-home carpet cleaner, but it just, I don't know that it does as good of a job as getting it professionally done, and it's so much work. So I went online initially to look for like a Febreze carpet odorizer, because Febreze constantly advertises how they can lift smells from things that are not washable. So for example, your carpet, and when I did that, I instead came up with the idea of doing a stain and odor remover foam. This is the one that I ended up picking up, the Resolve brand. I've heard a lot of really good things about the Resolve brand in general, so that's why I decided to give this a try. And I've never heard of this. I had no idea that this was even out there. And when I went online, I couldn't find anybody who had done like a review or who had showed me the process of it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, as random as that is. You guys know if you are regular subscribers to my channel, I really enjoy sharing mom hacks or just life hacks in general for making your life more efficient, easier, and better. And I feel like this falls into that. I really hope this works. So we're gonna see. The first thing that I had to do was pick up the floor. So I didn't make it look super pretty in here necessarily, but I just picked everything up off the floor in the area that I'm going to be doing today. The second step is I had to vacuum. So I went ahead and vacuumed the whole area again. And that's just to help lift current debris or hair or dirt off of the floor. So it makes it easier for the carpet foam to get working. And then the final first thing that I did was I did a test spot of our carpet because it does recommend that you test it first and then see if it adjusts the color of your carpet at all in a way that you don't like. I will go ahead and link these products for you guys down in the description box below so you can see exactly what I'm using and look at the products yourself. But basically the very brief instructions are to shake well and spray this in an even form. Then you work the foam into your carpet using a brush or a damp Colorfast mop. And I don't really know what that is, so I went ahead and purchased a new brush from Walmart. Then I'm supposed to leave it for two hours or until it's dry and then do a final vacuum. The vacuum is supposed to lift the dirt, the stains, the hair that the foam lifts up out of your carpet. I also did go ahead and get the pet expert version. You don't have to get anything that's Focus on pets if you don't want to, but that's the one that I got because we do have a very messy basset hound. And it does say it permanently eliminates odors, which 
I'm here for. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this works, whether or not it really works, definitely click the like button on today's video to let me know you're interested in this type of content. Don't forget to subscribe because I do tons of content regarding, again, efficient living, making your life better using tips, tricks, and hacks that I found along the way. So don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave today's video. And let's finally get into seeing if this works. about an hour and a half since I first started and I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum because it feels pretty much completely dry once I vacuum I will give you guys my final impression so now that I've finished vacuuming let's talk results. I first want to say that the cost of the can itself was around $5. I picked it up from Walmart and the size of it is 22 ounces, which is a little over a pound of foam. The bottle itself looks pretty big, but in my opinion, doesn't go a long way. So I used enough to lightly coat the entire room with just one bottle. In the beginning, I started out with the ability to put down more foam and then I noticed I was running out pretty quickly and so I decided to use it pretty sparingly the rest of the room because I don't have time to go pick up several more bottles before posting this video and doing that entire process again. The reason I'm bringing that up is because if you guys are looking to do an entire room, seems like you're gonna need at least two containers of this, if not more. The process itself was relatively grueling. If you think about it, People used to clean their floors, and some people still do, by getting down on their hands and knees and scrubbing. And we've come a long way, in a sense, of creating, pro creating products and machinery that allows you to not have to get down on your hands and knees, but this process requires you to do that. Because it was so semi-grueling, I would actually say that this is more of a spot treater rather than a full-on carpet cleaner. With that said, I think I would actually add this into my situational cleaning routine. So if there's ever an issue with a spill or something more gross, I think I would use this along with my other routine which involves the spot bot and really directly cleaning that area. But for an overall carpet refresh, I don't think that this is the best option. When I was vacuuming, I noticed that I picked up a little bit of dog hair and a little bit of debris, but I don't actually know that that was from the carpet foam. I think the process of agitating the carpet really well with the brush is what brought things out for me to then vacuum up. I don't think that it was the foam that did that. I did do a smell test. Sorry about the glare on my glasses. Darla's outside and the back door is open. I did do a smell test and I will say the smell of the carpet is completely changed. So it no longer smells like dog. It smells just clean, but it's not overpowering, kind of like the carpet powder was. If you were to use this for a full on carpet clean, I don't think that I would recommend doing this or using this every single time. If you guys have ever used hand sanitizer foam, it's the only thing I can think of to like compare it to. You get some foam, you spray it on your hands, you rub it around, your hands feel cleaner, 
but they don't feel clean. You don't really get that good, clean feeling on your hands unless you wash them. So that's kind of the same thing that's happening here. I notice that it's cleaner, but you still feel like it's not fully clean and it could actually be fully clean if we went ahead and had the carpets professionally carpet cleaned. So as final thoughts, I will add this into my situational cleaning routine. However, I will never use this again as a full on carpet refresher. The thought of having to do this in my entire house, I, I can't, I would just not. That sounds horrific to me. I think that we're gonna have carpets for the foreseeable future because we're currently in this stage of having little children around and I think carpet overall is better for falls and tumbles and little accidents like that rather than directly on hardwood. I know the trend and most beautiful thing to do is have hardwood floors and eventually I think we'll get there. But until then, I would love to hear from you guys what you do to keep your carpets clean and fresh year round. If you have any hacks that I can test out or things that you've seen but haven't tried yet and would like to see me try, leave me a comment down below or DM me over on my Instagram. I enjoyed putting the Resolve Pet Expert Stain and Odor Foam Remover to the test today. If you guys liked it as well, give this video a thumbs up even though the product itself is a bit of a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye guys.